Jimmy Butler dominated the first round of the NBA playoffs. By scoring 56 and then 42 points, he helped the Miami Heat in eight seed beat the number one seeded Milwaukee Bucks. And the media can't stop talking about Jimmy, probably cause they didn't expect it. But that is nothing new for Jimmy Butler, cause he is perhaps the most underrated basketball player of this generation. And it's about time we give him the credit he deserves, cause he's not just an NBA superstar. He's a future Hall of Famer, cause his resume reflects that. And here are the reasons why. Cause remember, it is still true, even when the media is not paying attention. First things first, Jimmy Butler quite literally beat the odds just to make it to the NBA. Cause no high school basketball coach in their right mind would have thought that Jimmy Butler would even be in the league right now. He only played two seasons of high school varsity basketball. And during his senior year, he averaged close to 20 points and nine rebounds per game. But he wasn't really recruited by anybody. So he went to junior college. And the unrecruited, unranked Jimmy Butler led his junior college team to a top 25 national position. And he was the leading scorer on that team. But he wasn't named an All-American. So the disrespect continued. But Marquette took a chance on him and offered him a scholarship in the Big East, where he would play three more college basketball seasons. He was never given all-conference honors but they gave him honorable mention twice. Which is funny, cause a Jimmy Butler led team went to the Sweet 16 as a senior at Marquette. And after all that, Jimmy Butler was still underrated. He got drafted in the first round in 2011, but when he did, he was the 30th pick. That's the last pick of the first round. The Chicago Bulls did take him, but you gotta see the names that were picked ahead of him. Marshawn Brooks, Chris Singleton, Jordan Hamilton, and Derrick Williams were all picked ahead of Jimmy Butler, and they play his position. And the funny thing is, those guys aren't even in the league right now, but Jimmy Butler is putting in work. He didn't really play much till his second year in the league, and by his fourth season, he was an NBA All-Star, and he won the Most Improved Player Award for the league. Don't get it twisted. Jimmy Butler is not an underdog. He is just underrated. And the reason he doesn't get more awards is because you can't vote for yourself. Till this point in his career, the biggest award they gave him is the All-NBA third team. But people keep getting surprised by his playoff heroics, which I'm getting to, by the way. And the truth about Jimmy is that even though he has a position on the scouting report, he is really just a hooper who makes plays to help his team win games, regardless of what it looks like. And it doesn't always look pretty, cause after being traded from the Bulls, he was practically dismissed from the Minnesota Timberwolves, and they tried to tell us he was a cancer to the team. For the record, the Timberwolves still haven't gotten out of the first round since Jimmy left them. Matter of fact, they ain't even been out since Kevin Garnett left them. The problem they had is Jimmy Butler didn't fit in with the team culture. But that culture was a losing culture. And Jimmy Butler is a winner. So he said, y'all better get me up out of here. He effectively forced a trade, ended up on the Philadelphia 76ers and helped them get to the second round. At which point, they had to make a decision on who they would pay in free agency. Jimmy Butler or Ben Simmons. And we all know how that turned out. And the free agency of that summer, is how he got to the Miami Heat. And Jimmy Butler is the best player on that team. And everybody knows it. And they've been winning in the playoffs when the odds are stacked against them. Cause they made the NBA Finals in the bubble with Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo as their best players. They lost to the Lakers with LeBron James and a prime Anthony Davis. But they were never supposed to make it to the finals. They were a number five seed that year. Getting a team to the NBA Finals is so hard to do that nobody has done it since the year 1990 without at least one NBA Hall of Famer on your team. To be clear, if you look at the Heat roster, Jimmy Butler has to be that guy. 
And this year, they beat the number one seeded Milwaukee Bucks. Number one seeds don't lose in the playoffs in the first round. And if they do, which is rare, they never lose in five games. This is the first time it happened, and Jimmy Butler is the culprit. And let's be clear, we all thought the Bucks were legit. Even J.J. Redick and Richard Jefferson both said before the playoffs started that that is who they had as the favorite to win it all. Jimmy Butler beat that team in five games, playing like the best player in the league against the same man who most people would have given that title to. You can have Kawhi Leonard or even Kevin Durant if you want to, for at least as long as they stay on the court. But if you're going into an NBA playoff series and you actually need a wing player to lead your team, Jimmy Butler has proven he is as good as they come. He's a future Hall of Famer when it's all said and done. And he's proof that it doesn't really matter what they say about you, cause they'll miss you a little bit when you're gone. That's exactly what's happening right now for the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Chicago Bulls while they watch Jimmy Butler putting in work in the playoffs.